What's up guys? So real quick, I'm gonna show you how I hooked up um, an aftermarket head unit uh, to a 2001 540i uh, E39 BMW. Um, this has the DSP system in it. Uh, I'm going with an Alpine double din uh, head unit, but it's whatever, use any head unit you want, I guess. But anyway, um, let's, uh, let's go through it real quick here. So in the back of the vehicle, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna retain the DSP system, you have to hook up your CD or cassette deck to the back here. So what we're looking at back here is the stock amplifier to the system. Um, these are the speaker wires going all the way through the vehicle. Um, and this is a bunch of like power stuff here. So basically real quick, what I'm gonna show you, um, and I'll put a, a link to the, um, harnesses that I used but anyway so this harness here you've got one of the yellow wires on this harness goes to this white wire here that's going into this whole harness right here okay we can see that well enough the solid black wire is going into the solid brown wire again coming out of here this red and green wire, the other yellow wire coming out of our harness we order online. And then the last cable that goes is the iBus cable. This is a little harness behind this big one right here. This wire is all white here for me, but it basically has a six volt uh, going through it. I mean, it's about six volts that goes through it. So if you have a multimeter, um, rig it up. Uh, and you'll see if you if you punch this that you'll see it's got about six volts coming out of it That's what you want uh, For that and that's gonna be your I'm trying to see this here um, brown and Brown and yellow wire coming out again of this harness. Those are the four cables out of this harness That go into your CD or cassette deck that will rig in back here all these other wires These are all speaker wires because this is this is a, a, a female um, harness these are you're not gonna use any of these just tape them up leave them alone that's everything that has to be done back here okay so we're gonna move around to the front <clears throat> so you're also going to keep your uh, they call it like a I think a mid deck or something like that but basically um, this is your DSP you'll see here I have DSP on this you're gonna keep this what you're going to do with this whole thing is you're going to take this wire it attaches to and you're going to feed it into your glove box. It's kind of big, it's bulky, whatever. It should feed right into there. I haven't done it yet, but I know it'll fit. So if I turn this system on, <clears throat> everything's kicking on here and you'll see that this whole system is still operating. So you're keeping the DSP system in the vehicle. You're retaining all of it, um, which is kind of neat. I don't know, whatever. It's it's the, the best work around the least amount of work, in my opinion, for these factory head units. So anyway, um, this works. I'm not gonna hook my phone up to it and show you the sound because I don't need to. But anyway, um, when I rig up my phone for Apple CarPlay, I play music, everything works great. So I'm just gonna tell you what you need to do. So you're not gonna work your volume from your head unit. You are going to basically turn this down and turn your stock volume up until it can get as loud as you want it before it gets staticky, or lack of a better word. Because basically what's happening is the frequency coming out of here, if this is jacked up too high, the volume, it's gonna make everything else poppy and staticky and terrible. So turn your volume down as much as you can. I think I had this one at like 12 or 13. So you can see I'm only at like maybe 35% of the volume there, but I can turn this all the way up until it sounds just rocking, but it's not, nothing's popping in it. So once you put this in your glove box, use your volume on your steering wheel, which still is all retained. Cause remember we've kept everything here. This works just fine. I'm gonna use all my volume from these buttons. I'm not going to really touch this anymore. If I want to control bass, treble, all that stuff, again, I'm going to do it for my DSP. 
all this stuff, all this still works. I don't have all the kinks worked out, but anyway, um, this does work when I have it all going. Um, it's in, <clears throat> so I have this in a certain mode, but anyway, so you can adjust all of this stuff still. This, all this still works. So just assume that all your audio functions, you're still gonna do from the DSP system. The only thing you're gonna use from this is basically like your, you know, Apple CarPlay, all the good shit in there. Um, I don't have a camera hooked up, so I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. Uh, Bluetooth audio, I didn't even try. I don't really plan to use it, um, but I'm sure it'll work. Um, anyway, so this will go in the glove box. This will obviously go in there once I hack all this apart and get my, um, my doubled in uh, whatever plastic garbage from China put in there to hold this whole system in. But anyway, um, we're running off on a tangent here. So this is the other, so basically this is the same exact harness that you saw in the back, but it's reversed obviously. So basically I had one harness of the male end and one of the female end. So this harness obviously plugs into the factory You've got all your speaker wires here. Those all match up perfectly with the colors of the harness from the the uh, fact uh, from the uh, aftermarket head unit. So, and I'll also link this one as well because this one is very important. Uh, on Amazon, it's going to lead you to believe that there's another harness that you're going to want to use, and it's not true. In fact, Amazon says this is not the right harness for my vehicle, but this harness worked, and the one that Amazon did say worked for my vehicle. Um, did not work and there's a, really one reason why is because it just simply didn't come with enough wires so coming out of here there's four very important wires here you've got your ignition you've got um oh shit, I want to try and remember here. so you've got you've got your acc uh you've got a constant you've got a ground and then you have a remote amp turn on um that remote amp turn on is trying to find it here. That's the blue and the and the white wire. And this is the wire that did not come on my other harness. And that's why it didn't work. This is very important, this wire right here, because this is another way of telling the amp to turn on when you turn the key on. So remember, everything wiring here is, is to get this factory system to turn back on um, also while hearing uh, the speakers. So, uh, if you research how this is done a little bit, you're going to see some of the problems that people run into. Um, and basically the issue is two things. Um, the amp doesn't kick on, and because of the amp doesn't kick on, the speakers don't work. So if you do your setup this way, it will work. Um, and it's pretty simple. So uh, like I said, um, follow the directions on the package for your harness to your head unit. Um, I'm also going to link a write-up of someone that uh, did a write-up on how I followed it to a T and it worked like a charm. So I will link that as well. You'll have everything you need hardware-wise linked and then you'll have um, a link to a forum that will also basically give you a much better in-depth ex explanation of how this works. But I wanted to give a visual because visuals work for me. I know they work for other people. Um, so again, just to recap, so you've got uh, your ignition, you've got a ground, you have a, an amp remote turn on, um, and you have a constant. Four very, very important wires coming out of here. Again, you can, they all link up color wise from this harness, at least to my double, doubled in Alpine unit. Um, and then obviously just follow all the colors of your speaker wire. Um, I think there's only like two wires, two or three wires that come out of here that I didn't use. Two brown wires and this orange wire. Those are the only wires that were not hooked up coming out of this harness. Um, so that's that's how you'll rig all this up. But again, in the back, as I showed you, um, so you have four wires in total that hook up in the back. And you have, you're gonna use every single wire on your harness from uh, Amazon, except for uh, these two brown wires and the orange wire. Um, 
And again, my explanation on how to use the audio. You'll have to play with it a little bit, get creative, um, but I wanted to just kind of quickly go through this um, and show you how I got it done. So, fucking good luck.